Hi, how are you doing? My name is Joshua Havens. I'm a uh, medical marijuana patient. Are you there? I'm a medical marijuana patient here in the state of Louisiana. And I had went up to the courthouse to file a um, my paperwork with the city clerk. And I was questioned without being detained within the city clerk's office of whether or not I had marijuana on my person. And I'd like to know if I can file a complaint against the officer that done that. Which officer was it? Was it the city or the parish? Do you know? I do not know, but I can tell you this much. I would but know him. The, I would know him if I seen him. But you was at the courthouse, right? Yes, ma'am. I was at the courthouse, and this happened last week to the day. It happened last week? To the day. Yes, ma'am. I have PTSD and a TBI and seizures and ADHD, so sometimes it takes me a little bit to get my stuff together. Okay, if you was at, if you was at the courthouse, that's going to be the parish works up there, the, the deputy. So, um, let me transfer you to the parish, okay? Yes, ma'am. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Well, I'm a little concerned about my rights. I had uh, came up there last week, last Friday, and that was after me going to the city clerk's office. And while I was in the city clerk's office, I was trying to uh, file my, uh, <laughs> my medical marijuana paperwork with the city clerk, and I came up there and I talked to Mike Tubbs myself, but while I was at the city clerk's office, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a deputy or a narcotics agent, I'm not sure which one he was, uh -huh. but he heard the words medical marijuana come out of my mouth, and he turned around and looked at me and asked me if I had any marijuana on my person without any probable cause and without detaining me. And so he started interrogating me without me being detained, and I would like to file a complaint. Okay, um, let me put you through to our major so you can uh, speak to a supervisor and file your complaint to them, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just a moment. Do you happen to know that deputy's name? I do not. Now, I can tell you this much. He was there at the same time that I was there, and, okay. and the city clerk witnessed it. Okay, um, was he black, white, tall? He, he, was, he was white, and I would be able to point him out if, if I ever seen him. Okay. Hold on just a moment, okay? Yes, ma'am. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to put you up to Chief Martis, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just a moment. Sheriff's Office, is James. Hi, Mr. James. How are you doing? Yes, ma'am. My name is Joshua Havens. How you, is everything going all right today? Yes, sir. All right. I, uh, I've, got a, I've got a small concern, actually, and, and, and it's more of a complaint, and, you know, I don't, I don't really know how to proceed with this. Other than just to call you guys and say, hey, this happened, and it's kind of a violation of my rights. And I don't really know what else to do other than say, hey. So I'm saying, hey, what all right. Well, I'm one of the first medical marijuana patients here in the state of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm used to different law sets in different states, and I came home because I was told that there was medical marijuana here and that I was going to be given some leeway on some rights. So I went and got my prescription down in Plaquemine from Dr. Antonio Edwards. And whenever I came back up here from Plaquemines, up here at Bastrop, I went to the city clerk's office to file a copy of my paperwork in hopes that there was some type of patient registry 
for some type of enforcement division to work between, you know, the patients and the, the authorities that, that be, the powers that be there, to keep, you know, because that, there's supposed to be something to protect the patient. And whenever I was talking to the city clerk, this individual, I, now I'm not sure if he was an undercover narcotics agent or if he was a sheriff's deputy. But he turned around and looked at me and asked me without detaining me, without any probable cause, whether or not I had marijuana. Now, understand that's a violation. In Louisiana, medical marijuana is in legal form only. Well, that's not true either. You need to look at the Louisiana Department of Health medical well, marijuana. I don't understand, but the man just asked you, did you have marijuana? And then what happened? He asked me if I had any marijuana on me. And that was what, by profiling me without any, any. the law, sir. No, that is against the law, especially whenever I have a prescription for it. And I haven't done anything, and I, all I was trying to do was establish some rights. All that's happened? Well, yes, yeah, sir, but I'm kind of concerned uh, for my safety, for myself and my family. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir, I am. Absolutely, I am. Because I, I, if I, this I, is. I, I, wait, 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 wait. How did he threaten you? Well, he had just asked you, did you have marijuana on your person? Well, how? why did he ask me that without detaining me, sir? Well, I can see right now this is not going anywhere. If you have a complaint against a deputy with the sheriff's office, maybe you need to go talk to the state police. Because about the, what he did, he asked you a legitimate question when you brought up the subject to marijuana. No, and sir. You know, it was medical marijuana, marijuana, and he doesn't have the right to ask me that kind of question, yeah, sir. Not, you're not going to yell at me. My wife doesn't yell at me, and my mother doesn't yell at me. Uh, well, sir, I, I'm not going to be yelling well, at sir, either. And, 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 and I, I am a former U.S. Marine with a PTSD and a TBI. Yeah. You are not going to tell me what my rights are whenever I know them. I'm so glad I got this on video.